<coughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to Finn's Layouts and for the first time in quite a while we're going to do a review uh, but before we get onto the review I'm just going to tell you quickly now that I'm not feeling 100% that is because I've just had my um, Covid booster jab uh, and it's made me feel a bit icky but that's not put me off from doing this really exciting review so I hope you all had a good Christmas and uh, have a happy happy new year so this is my new year special uh, so like I said it's been a while so anyway when I got some money on Christmas Day uh, I heard that Dapol in sometime November had released their um, Engage Pacer uh, their second batch so I thought I had a look at it in November and I thought yeah I really like the look of that I think I might get one and that's what I've done I've gone for the Northern Class 142 Engage debranded livery. So when I first got it, the packaging was really, really good. It had bubble wrap around it, it had some foamy stuff on it, and then you had the case itself. So the packaging was good and there's not a scratch on this box. So anyway, I got this product from Rainbow Railways, who I'd never heard of before and I wasn't too sure if they were a good company or not, but I thought I'd risk it and it was definitely worth risking it because they're a really good company. It came, this has come within four days of ordering, so that's really, really good. So we'll move that over there. So here they are, if you want to have a look, that's Rainbow Railways. There. If you want to contact them, there's the number on the back. Now something you don't see with a lot of companies anymore when you do order your product is you get you don't get all these sort of leaflets and stuff. So I'm really glad to get these because you know it might spike my interest for getting something else and I definitely will order from Rainbow Railways again because they're really really good from what I've seen so far so yeah it came with a couple of leaflets and uh, yeah so anyway the model itself it is Dapple it was originally £144.85 I've got it for £123.00 as you can see on there and here is the model anyway so this is what the packaging looks like when you receive your Engage model your Engage pacer so I'd be lying to you if I said I haven't already opened it and now had a look because I was really 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 excited for this model to come I can't tell you how excited I was <clears throat> because if you remember in uh, October time, I think it was 31st of October, Halloween, I actually rode on a debranded pacer at the Windsordale Railway, which I have to say was really, really fun. I do have a soft spot for the pacers. You can laugh all you want, but I went to Windsordale Railway, especially to see the pacer. But I did get a little Halloween bonus when I went. There were some Halloween activities on, so that was nice. Uh, but like I said, in November I saw this and then I went to Wensadale, rode one on the debranded one and it was just magical, I loved it and that just, I was like yes, I'm gonna get one this time, hopefully I'll get enough money at Christmas to get one and that's what's happened, so we'll open it here and with every depot one you get the manual here, oh you get two, so oh, that's a detailed section of what parts you get on there. And then that's just like how to clean it and oil it and all that. We don't need to look into that. And I presume the uh, other one is the same. Uh, take a quick look. This is just terms and conditions. You're not interested in that. But it does come with a warranty of some sort. I'm not sure if you'd have to look if you got one. So here it is then. <clears throat> Engage class 142 Northern Rail debranded 142096. As you can see there, I think it's focusing. Oh no. As I'm filming this with my phone, I've got my best camera on, which isn't my selfie camera, so I don't know if that's focusing on that. Hopefully it is. So here it is then. Let's unpackage it. They always come in really nice packaging, uh, Dapples Engage locos, especially the Pacer. So we'll just pop her out, and there she is. And with every dapple pacer, you get different types of couplings. So you've got sort of the American style couplings, as you can see there. But I'm not in any rush to do that because I don't, 
don't currently have an engaged layout. Uh, all my locos go on display at the moment. Well, I have a double O gauge test track uh, to test that the locos work, and if I feel like running them up and down a small bit of land, I will do that. But at the moment, I don't have an engaged test track, so that's not something I can do. But I'm quite happy looking at them, and that's why I bought it. So let's get this one out first. I think this one's a motor car because it's really heavy. And look at that detail. It's just magnificent. Detail is just... <clears throat> I'm blown away. Now, something that caught my eye with these uh, de-branded Northern Pacers from Dapple is um, the livery on them, on the photos, looked faded. And I can confirm that in person. It is slightly faded. And that's good because that's how they look in preservation at the moment if they haven't been repainted which some of them haven't like at Winterdale it looked faded at Winterdale it looked worn and I like that look I'm glad it's come like that so with <coughs> every engaged pacer you can pull the gangway out and it makes it look that bit more realistic when you're running them or on display like I have them it is a bit of a pain to pull out but I will get there eventually there you go that's one, and then this one is the dummy car, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> a lot lighter, and the detail is just <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, they're that small, you can't really hide the motor inside, but who's going to be looking down and looking at the motor anyway when it's running? You won't see that, so that's that one. We'll pull the gangway out on this one as well. If we can't, yeah, there we go. And then they just slot in together like so. This is a bit faffy, but we'll get there. Got to be gentle with it. And you'll hear a little click. And there you go. And that is on. And look at that close gangway connection there. It's brilliant. <coughs> so this has to be my one of my favourite models that I own at the moment. Apart from the 153, this is just fantastic. I love every bit of this. The faded delivery and the old northern. I just love the cranky old paces. They're just brilliant. Ah, something I haven't gone through yet is if I just uncouple this. Oh, actually, I'll go and get my other pace from upstairs because I want to show you something that I can do. I'll be one second pacing for my birthday. And that's this one. The Northern Spirit one, it came broken though, the copper connector came broken and they would not let me send it back for some reason, so I'm not buying from that company I bought from last time. Well, I didn't buy it, I got it from birthday, but anyway, that's not what this is about. This is what this is about, I'll show you what they can do. So if you own a couple of engaged pacers, you can actually use the front couplings to connect them up. It's a bit of a faff, but we'll get there. Get there. Come on. Like so. And then they're ready to be coupled and go around your layout. So, uh, yeah. You can just uncouple them like that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this little review. Uh, Happy New Year from me. Um, and yeah, all the best for the new year. Uh, fins I out. It's. I hope you like the new fins I out. Not as many reviews, but um, I'm concentrating more on filming the actual trains, and there'll be way more trains to come this um, this this new year. This there'll be lots of filming to come. So if you don't already follow my Instagram, uh, I shall put a link or some sort of thing over this video somewhere. Uh, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, I've been Finn Science.